<laughs> Hello YouTube, what is going on? It's your girl Rahika Nandi and welcome back to my channel. It's been a good time. It's been a while though. Today we are going to go over this little thing. It's like a little leech. It's like a parasite. It just feeds off of all the good in your life. What am I talking about? The S word. Stress. So stress is something that we all deal with. It's just always going to be there because we as humans tend to overthink, overcomplicate, and make a big deal out of things because we're all just drama queens. So this video is going to be about what you can do as a drama queen yourself to not fix stress, but alleviate as much as possible. This video is for you. I may not be necessarily the best person to be saying all these things, even though I do most of them. I'm still one of the most stressful people I know. Okay, yeah, I stress myself out, but like, I'm still one of the most stressed persons, the people that I know. And so I might not be the best at doing this video, but you know what? I'm going to attempt. So. Let's solve your problems. I've come up with 30 different ways that you should alleviate stress and I just started writing down a list and a lot of them are honestly bull****, but like it's okay, we will, we will figure it out. Yeah. So let's get right into the video. Okay, so. Let's start. Number one, the first way that I think that you should relieve stress, take a breath. I think it's really important that you breathe because like if you inhale oxygen and you exhale carbon dioxide, then I think you'll continue living. And so that's probably helpful just because you want to be alive in order to relieve your stress. I'm pretty sure it's necessary. Oh, I have to sneeze. No, it went away. Why is sneezing such a big problem in life? See, now I have goosebumps. Breathing is really important in life. Okay. Number two. I think that if you're working already right now, you should make a plan or a to-do list. I do this all the time. I have this really ugly notebook. It's got so many positive messages on the front, like, hey you, and nap queen. Oh my god, there's a pizza. Oh my god, I did not even realize there was a pizza. There's a pizza at the bottom. So much better. Okay, I'm sorry for hating on you. Pizza's good. But this is my little notebook, and I write my schedules, and I write timetables. I feel so satisfied when I can cross things out off my list, and I'm like, Go, Rupika. You just did that. You did that. I think you should do that. Number three, you should change your studying environment. I know that whenever I study in like my normal study environment, which is just a desk in my room, I get cluttered in my thinking and everything, and I see my bed over there, and I'm like, oh, that'd be great to just depart from my desk and just sleep in there, and I tend to do that. So I think, change up your study environment, like go downstairs to the living room, or go in front of the TV, but don't turn on the TV, it's like a reward for you afterward. Go in the kitchen, go to Pete's or Starbucks or something, go to your local coffee house, just sit and grind all your stuff out. Number four, call your best friend. Um, I can't call her right now because it's super early, so I'll call her later and I'll show you right now. Roll the clip. This is taking forever. Okay. So, uh, we're calling this Okay, now this, th her name is real now. Oh, she's FaceTiming me. Hi. Hello. I'm making a YouTube video. About what? About me calling my best friend. I'm sick now. Not really, it's like your part of it though. It's like stress relieving things, so I have to call you. You have to talk to my fans, my followers, my viewers about stress. Please tell them Did what you stress say 12 is. viewers? Hmm? 
<laughs> yeah, probably we both, but like, yeah. Don't get stressed out. Okay, great advice. I love y'all. Okay, bye. Bye. So that was number four. You should call your best friend. Okay, I'm back. So yeah, as you can see, calling your best friend is very helpful. Not only do you feel better about yourself, but like, they feel good that you call them. It's, it's a good cycle. Number five, and now I've run out of fingers that I can hold up, so I will probably use text now. Okay, number five, to make little positive and motivating cards for yourself. I do this all the time, like a key word or a key phrase or something, or even like a quote that I've heard before. Put it up on my wall as a sticky note. Number six, also try making little positive and motivating cards, not only for yourself, but for your family and friends and just people around you. When you're motivating others and making others feel good, it kind of distracts from your problems and you're focusing on others, which is a good thing. Helping them out, which makes you, f which makes you feel good. Or at least it makes me feel good. Number six. Um, oh wait, I just said number six. <laughs> number seven, you should take a hot, hot shower. It just relieves any tension that you have it's like you're sleeping in water literally sometimes i just stand there like an idiot because the water is just so nice that's really bad for the environment but it's fine not really but like it's fine it's it's occasional number eight i think that you should make a lip scrub -a dub 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 it's really fun to do and you can pamper yourself then um, lip scrubs are especially fun. If you guys want, I could do another video on like how to make certain things that are meant for pampering yourself. But let me know in the comments below if you guys want that. Number nine, do some coloring or doodling. Just pick up a pencil or a pen and a piece of paper. Whether it be printer, construction, or even binder paper. You can do so much with binder paper. Make a doodle. Make an airplane like a, or a frog or a fortune teller. Those are so fun to make. Number 10, eat a spoon of honey. And I know this is kind of weird, but when I'm stressed out, I either eat chocolate or I eat a spoon of honey. It's so good. Number 11, find a new meme page or just scroll through one of your favorite old ones. I literally love memes. So if you guys want to tag me in memes, feel free to do that because I live for that. Number 12, blast on music and just dance like crazy and whether it's classical or rock or indie or pop or that rhymed whatever it is just blast your music and dance it out just jam because you'll feel so much better like jump on your bed too no one cares it's fine just do it 13 Clean up your workspace or your bedroom space. So this is kind of similar to the other one, but like instead of moving to a different space, I'm encouraging you to clean it up. Organize it, make it color coordinated if it's like pretty organized already. Put something up, like put some decor up if it's already perfect, which I bet you guys are because I'm the one who's a mess. Free yourself of the clutter and make yourself clean. 14, paint your nails. I pick at them and I bite them. I always repaint my nails and it feels good. Number 15, do a face mask or do a DIY face mask or do literally any face mask. You get approximately like 20 minutes of just pure freedom where you're not really doing anything and then you feel good after you come back, wash yourself off, put some nice cream and lotion and then get back to work. Number 16, Take a bath. I have like bath bombs and stuff, but I've never done one, which kind of saddens me because I just never have the time. I really, really want to do one, but I've never had the time to fully like spend a full hour or something for a bath. So I'm gonna try and do that from now on. Not from now on, I'm gonna try and find a day to do that. <laughs> 17, indulge in your passions for a full hour. Just do it, you know, just, Take an hour away from your work and just do something else for a little bit. Something that's also useful and something that helps you grow as a person, but not towards all the grinding material. We can come to that later. 18. Give someone a hug. Hugging people really re releases hope. Uh, if you're a person who doesn't like touching, 
then just at least say hi and smile at someone because you'll make them feel good and you'll feel good and that's all there is to it. Number 19. Okay, this is about eating. I recommend, and according to my practice, you eat something unhealthy and then you eat something healthy so you feel okay about yourself. For example, you know those like European chocolate box cookies that you get at, I don't know, is it is it Costco? You get those in bulk. Just get one of those, eat a few from there, and then afterwards eat like an apple or like celery or something that's like still healthy and still good, but like not chocolate. Number 20 cute animal videos whether that's facebook instagram or youtube just go on those and look up cute animal videos and you're gonna find so many things that are so stress relieving and so freaking adorable that you're gonna just want to poop yourself 21 21 you should start writing about whatever is on your mind in a journal on a blog or like a notes pad like it doesn't need to be published anywhere actually you just start writing about it you'll feel better about yourself Number 23, take a walk. Take a walk outside or take a walk around the block. <laughs> Once you're inhaling some fresh air, you feel good. If you can't take a walk, then just open up the windows and inhale that fresh air because everyone needs a little bit of that. Number 24, light a candle. You have this incense in your room and it smells so good. Should I demonstrate? We're gonna pretend like I'm demonstrating. I got this super cute candle for my birthday. Look how cute this is. And it smells heavenly. Oh my god. That's like next level. I think I put this on wrong. Yeah, I definitely did. Okay, it's fine. We flipped it over. Make a candle lit. Lit a candle. Light a candle. Oh. Number 25, make a new playlist for all of your favorite songs. If you don't already have one, just blast that stuff in the car or in your room or anywhere you go. As long as you have some headphones and are peaceful and quiet and not disturbing the rest of society as they try to live their lives because they may not want to hear your music because they may not like it, but it's fine because you like your music, it's fine, we're fine. You should make some music happen. 26. Play dress up with your closet. Plan outfits for later because you'll feel better by planning a cute outfit or something that looks good and feels right on you. Try something new. Figure out something else that can make you comfortable. Mm -hmm. 27. Have a good cry. If you're stressed out or sad or upset about something and you try to bottle it in, it's not going to be better in the long run. If you don't want to talk to someone, then just take a minute play some sad music and take some ice cream too if you want to add that to the mix and just cry it out once you do that and your your, your face is stain, stained with your tears and you're completely dried up then you won't have anything left to cry about and you'll feel a little bit better that you finally got it out 28 take a break from social media go somewhere with your friends like do something that's different than what you're always doing make memories in real life rather than viewing other people's memories or viewing your own on your phone. It's not as helpful for the mind when you're seeing everything on social media and I think it's really important to escape that for a little bit and just go out and have fun. Okay. Number 29. Write a list of things that you're super thankful for. Once I write all those things, everything negative that's on my mind just disappears. I don't want to write any of that down because it's not important. It's not it's not part of who I am and it's not you know, or what I want to be a part of me. None of that negative stuff, none of the stress, none of the worries, none of the obstacles. We're gonna push past them. So that motivation, that perseverance, that happiness, the families, the friends, the people that are around you that make you feel that way, those are the things that you are thankful for. And finally, number 30, just avoid any and all negativity. You don't need negativity to come into your life and ruin that. So if negativity comes in walking into your place, you you knock that stuff out. You push that away. Wow, that was kind of loud. You just push that away because you don't need that in your life. It's important to be happy with who you are and happy with everything you do have currently. Every single one of you, and I mean every single one of you, every single one is capable and 
has so much potential in life. You really should not be stressing about things that are unimportant to you. That is 30 and that is the end of my list. I'm thankful if you guys stuck around to watch all of that. I know that was kind of long, but I hope you enjoyed it. And please comment down below if you have any more ideas because I also am a stressed out girl. I'm in high school doing senior year, trying like nonetheless to maintain all of my stress levels and keep them lower comparison to the expectations which are up there. So tell me what you think of that list and hopefully you liked it. Thanks again for watching my video. Like, comment, and subscribe. Do all of that stuff if you're feeling it and I'll see you in the next video. Uh, yes, I love you guys. Mwah. Bye. <laughs> I'm late for school now. Uh.